Tubari Kola was only three months old when his mother was driven out of her second marriage. When her husband died, she married her late husband's brother, as custom demanded. But there was a part of the there was a part of the brief for custom that forbade her from first giving birth to a boy. In the following report, Manasseh Azuri tells the story of this gentleman and how he has done very well with education, but may not be able to continue. It is a Friday afternoon, and the assemblyman for the Bihe community is leading me to where Tubari lives with his mother, an old woman in her 70s. We met Tubari's mother, Hawa Kola, preparing the day's meal with cassava leaves. This is a deprived village, but where Tubari and his mother live is even more deprived. Tubari sleeps on an uncemented floor with a mat and there is no window or door to this room. The house was built through a communal labor. A, during the dry season, we just gathered together and then helped each other to build, it, build the houses. But the roofing was done by a, using aluminum zinc. And that we had, a, we worked in the farm and then we were able to roof it, but the plastering was done using the local uh, method. And what is this local method? Uh, they mix a, a fine sand together with a cow dunk and then a, some a herbs that they, they use so that they will be able to stick to the wall. The young man with an unusually calm demeanor seems used to this hardship. The assemblyman for Bihe, Isaac Hamidu, who serves as an interpreter in my interview with Tobari's mother, tells me the boy's predicament started at birth. It's a taboo to give birth to a baby boy after marrying a widow, the first child. So when the woman married the second husband and gave birth to a baby boy, the family said it's a, 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 a bad woman. So the sisters of the husband as the woman to go with your tubare that's push away child so they push the woman and her child away tubare meaning push away that is why she got up and came to this community with the baby boy to come and settle and look for help and how old was this uh, boy the, the, the boy was only three months old when the family asked her to live with the baby is that how the boy got his name? That is how they got the name, Tubari, push away. Tubari's father died three years after he and his mother left Babli to settle in Bihe, and no family member has ever helped him. Tubari attended primary and junior high school in Bihe before he gained admission to Nandom Senior High School, where he read science. He and his mother farmed to feed themselves and use the extra proceeds to take care of his education. He also worked as a farm laborer for people in the village without charging them any fees. The people that I have, they've been so good to me. They also helped me. So when uh, at times when uh, they are harvesting food, they will bring food to, uh, to my mother so that we also uh, invest them. So I just take the time out to also help them. But anything that they uh, give me, I appreciate it. Tubari tells me life was extremely difficult and he was often asked to go home because his fees were always in arrears. Despite the odds, Tubari completed the Nandom Senior High School, scoring A1 in six out of the eight subjects he wrote. He has applied to the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology and the University of Mines and Technology in Takwa. UMAT has offered him admission and is likely to get admission to the Cairn UST as well. But he cannot go to school unless benevolent individuals help him. When we uh, compiled everything, it was almost 5,000 Ghana cities. I'm appealing to any, I mean, to one it, who will be able to, I mean, help me to I get, I mean, pay my school fees so that I will be able to uh, go to. The tertiary level. When you completed, what have you been doing? 
yeah, since we completed, we have been involved in the Libra work, the working as a reason. A Libra, the building construction, the website, but nowadays it, it, it has terminated. Barry has been rejected, but he has not given up. For now, the only obstacle between the dejected young man in this village and the engineer he dreams of becoming is the money to fund his education. And he hopes someone will give his story a sympathetic ear and extend a generous hand of support. For Joy News, Manasseh Azore Arena reporting from Bihe in the Upper West Region.